Women are said to be weak. It's believed that they've been given the short end of the stick when it comes to dealing with life's obstacles. However, when you take into account all the problems that men have to cope with in life compared to women, the scales tip in favor of men. The major difference between men and women is that males have to define their values no matter what, whereas women don't have to. The success of a man shapes his personality. This society will be an enemy if you don't at least try to climb to the top of the dominance hierarchy. Even the close ones will find you repulsive and will reach a point of self-hatred where you can no longer stand to be alive. Remember, you have to pay a hefty cost for everything you'll achieve in life. Some of the men out there have conventional ideas about masculinity, such as they need to be tough, not ask for help, and seem cool at all costs. And if they don't act like this, they might be closed off, rude, or being told a sexist joke. The impact of these ideas has an extraordinary effect on society. Due to these beliefs, men would not be emotionally available to anyone, and it'll start to affect their personal relationships. Another factor is that men don't accept help from a therapist or a psychologist, even if they're suffering from depression or anxiety. Again, they're afraid of being judged by society. From every angle to see, you'll realize that men have been going through a lot, and they pay the price for society's norm. With that being said, let's discuss how you can overcome the societal problems associated with masculinity. Be successful. At which age do most of the problems start for a man? Most of you might be thinking age doesn't matter, but it does. Once you're between the ages of 15 and 18, you'll need to start showing your worth. As a man, you can't wait to be mature and start a family. A man becomes mature when he has all of these responsibilities to take care of. In certain nations, men must demonstrate their worth by the age of five. If you come from a low-income home, you undoubtedly need to work to provide for your family and yourself. Being a provider is not the same as being successful. Lots of men provide, but only some are successful. Some of you might define success as well. Simply, success is determined by how much money, power, and status you possess. But if you were to judge yourself based on this definition, then a kid born rich is more successful than you. Your value is the true metric of success, not money, power, and status. Though they sounded extremely materialistic, they nonetheless matter in the success game that you need to master. So, to put it in a nutshell, a high-value man should be capable of earning money and using it to acquire status and power. Keep in mind that the game of success is extremely competitive and you don't have time. The Pareto Principle indicates that the chances are stacked against you, but time is the single factor that has the power to change the odds in your favor. Realizing that you're a man and must play the game of success is the first step. You might ask yourself that in this game of success, where should I start to be on the right track and counter problems to achieve my goal? You should just begin by getting to know yourself. You can consider yourself a character in a video game. You have to closely study your character like in a game. You would know that every character has different traits. Sometimes the game also defines the personality, strengths and weaknesses of the character. Know your strengths and weaknesses and determine your apex values to verify your strengths and align them with your extreme values. You have to lose some to gain some in your life. Sacrifice all the other things in your life that are not helping you reach your apex values and assisting you to achieve your goals. Give up the laziness and step up your game. Suppose that you realize money is a major issue you need to focus on in life. Take the first step and look at your quality traits as you would look in the game, such as formal education and the schooling system. If you're not confident enough that these metrics will help you reach your goal, then you should begin looking outside of the box. Think of your life as a game and enjoy every step of the journey, because one day when you'll be successful, you'll miss being what you used to be. Start looking at other people in your life as you would look at characters in the game to teach you the techniques and help you level up. You should try and find a mentor that would help you make it to the end goal. Keep one thing in mind. Your mentor should be the one who has achieved every goal of their life and was once a struggler like you. You might even replicate his techniques and what he did to reach his goal. Additionally, if you study yourself and you see that you lack the ability to give value to others, then work on your social credibility. The greatest thing a man has to do is to make sacrifices and if you want to win the game of life and success, then your future is based on the sacrifices you make on the journey to that goal. These sacrifices may be of any form, including present luxuries. 
The cost of being a man and achieving success is to suffer every day, and because you're considering it as a game, you must enjoy this suffering because it will award you with the fruits of success in the future. One sacrifice you must make to have higher status is to give up on physical comfort and start working whether it's raining, cold, whether you feel like it or don't feel like it. Some of you want to build yourself by hitting the gym and initially you might hesitate and not feel like doing it but you should fake it till you make it. You have to convince yourself that you want to be there. You should convince yourself that you're interested in what the people have to say and slowly you'll change into a person with high value. Success is very tough to achieve and once you start to change your perspective of life, you'll start enjoying the true cost of being a man. The problem with this society is that if you refuse to play the success game, you'll be looked down upon and labelled as a failure and even sometimes your family members don't want to accept you. They might even curse you to leave the house and be independent for your well-being. On the contrary, if you play the success game and win it, you'll enjoy the rest of your life and will be respected in society. People will take you as their mentor and a guideline to follow, and you'll be considered in the big leagues. The most interesting part of this conversation is that when you decide to play the game, you already put yourself ahead of the 99% of men out there by simply committing to this game and becoming a high-value man. Your odds of winning will spike, so don't wish to escape the sufferings and learn to enjoy them, because success is already in your favor. By the way, don't forget to show some love, tap that subscribe button and hit like for the algorithm. To see the next best way to level up as a man, watch these videos here.